Hello everyone, this is Lynn and welcome to my channel. Well, as you can see, I have the Olive Edition Traveler's Notebook in front of me right now. Um, and this is not really an, an, an unboxing video, um, but because I've already unboxed it and taken some pictures, but I just basically wanted to show you guys what my Olive Edition looks like um, and how I came about it. I did not intend on getting the Olive Edition at first because I was quite happy with my camel so far. Um, but I just happened to go into Lee, which is a stationery store here in Malaysia um, that particular day and I asked the owner if he happened to have you know, um, the Olive Edition still available and he said yes. So I came home with one and ever since then um, I've been pretty much in love with the Olive Edition. So let me just show you what it's about. So it comes in, you know, that plastic sleeve, nothing to shout about. Um, and this is the typical, I guess, traveler's notebook packaging, um, except that this piece of paper is in, you know, the olive green to go with the rest of the, um, the traveler's notebook. And I think this string is a bit olivey as well. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting today because I'm filming, I don't know, what time is it now? At 3? 3 o'clock? 3 yeah, and the sun tends to come in a bit uneven and bright <laughs> at this hour in my room, so that's why I have this um, uneven sunlight coming in. So anyway, just going back to the Olive Edition, um, we have a bit of a blurb on what the content inside this box contains. Um, and that is a cotton bag, a the leather cover, a blank notebook refill, and a spare rubber band. So here it is. All right, so that's the... That's this there, I guess. And it looks like this. Okay. I can already tell from the screen of my camera that the olive is not showing up very clearly. So um, I'll have some photos at the end. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll be able to see the olive color a bit better but it really does look different in different lighting um i can never get it to show up you know the same way twice it's really really weird um the the leather feels a bit more suede like than my camel or even my dark brown um and then it has the traveler's notebook traveler's company japan made in thailand um, embossed in the back. So yeah, this is what the inside looks like. I'm not sure what's actually showing up in the camera right now, but I'm hoping that the color looks okay. Um, and you know, the blank inset. So yeah, I guess um, that's about it, I suppose. Um, it already has a few scratch marks, which doesn't really bother me because uh, I'll show you my camel. Okay, so this is my camel. You can see that it's really quite scuffed up already. Um, I've taken this with me on nearly yeah, every trip. Um, overseas ever since I got it in Japan last year. I think I got it when uh, the camel was uh, first released as part of the permanent collection um, from Japan last year. So you can see it's got dents, it's got scuff marks all over it, it even has stains. But I don't mind it so much because I think it gives it a lot of character. It even has paint splatters all over, so oh well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to using um, the Olive TN 
and you know seeing what kind of how the leather ages um, I'll probably I'm not sure if I'll do a follow-up but probably I'll be posting you know more pictures on my Instagram anyway so yeah and as for the setup um, I don't think it's going to be that much different from my current setup I'm basically just going to transfer all the crap I have in here into my olive notebook um, yeah olive travelers notebook which is this random insert another random <laughs> insert and yeah two file folders one in the craft one in the clear so yeah that's about it anyway I hope you enjoyed um, looking at the olive TN and yeah I guess that's all I have to say <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you again in my next video I promise it'll be a better one thank you so much and until the next time, take care and bye-bye.